Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this colorful gradient noise texture in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it for any image. So let's see how to make this. So I learned this technique from Texture Labs and he created this effect in Photoshop and I tried to recreate it in After Effects and this is something what we got. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So you can just import whatever image you want. This technique should work with everything. So let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's quickly first import our image. So I'm going to use this one. So it's quite big. I'm going to scale this down something like that and let's align it somewhere around here. Perfect. So here we have our image and we are going to apply a bunch of different adjustment layers on top of it to get the desired result. And let's right click and let's create a new adjustment layer. Or first let's create a solid and let's make its color black. Just click on OK. Now on top of this, we are going to apply an effect called cell pattern. So just search for cell pattern and let's drag it over here. Now, as soon as you apply it, you can see that it will create give us this pattern and under the cell pattern we have a bunch of different presets that we can use but for this example I'm going to use mixed crystals but you can play around with others as well contrast we're gonna keep it really high so let's set this to something like 700 now over here we have the size now this is completely up to you so you can just play around with this however you want I'm going to set this to 3 so that we have these very fine details perfect now on top of this I'm going to apply Gaussian blur to smooth out the edges so let's drag it over here now I'm going to set this to something like 1.5 not too much so you can see that it just really smooths out these hard edges perfect now in order to make this visible onto the image we are going to select this and let's press T opacity and I'm going to lower down its opacity value so I'm going to set this to something like 15 so now you can see that we are able to see the texture on top of our image but let's play around with it further so I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and on this one I'm going to apply an effect called posturize and let's drag it over here. Now how this effect works is that we are basically going to lower down the number of colors that we are going to have. So if I set this to something like 3 you can see that we are able to see only a couple of these colors and quickly I'm going to search for hue and saturation. So let's drag it onto this adjustment layer as well and under the master saturation i'm going to set this to negative 100 so that it turns the image to black and white perfect now once you're done with this we can add colors back to this by simply adding a new adjustment layer you can use the color effects onto this as well but i like to use it onto the new layer and let's search for tritone and let's drag it over here perfect so here you can see we are able to see some colors now you can pick whatever colors you want so these are the colors that I'm going to use and you can see that we are able to see the effect but there are a lot of things that you can do. So first thing is that you can play around with the image itself. So if I search for curves and if I drag it onto this, now you can see that as I move these curves, you can see we are able to see some changes into the texture like that. And there is one more thing that you can do. So if I select this layer, which has this posterize effect, now if I change the order of this layer, if I apply it before the adjustment layer, or this cell pattern effect now you can see that we are able to see some different look and if I go back and here we can play around with these values like that so now you can see that we are able to see some gradients and we have this noise texture as well if you want to increase the texture then you can play around with the opacity something like that let's keep it over here now there are a lot of things that you can do so first thing is that if I increase the blurriness you can see that now we have very smooth texture so let's keep it to something like 1.5 for now you can also play around with this size so if i increase this up now you can see that we are able to see some big chunks of these but you can play around with it however you want so for this one let's keep it to three and over here we have this image now you can see that if i increase this up we are able to see the different kind of textures and if you want to have more colors, then you can go inside the posterize time and over posterize effect. And over here, you can increase the number of levels so that it will add more details. But for this one, I think three looks good because we have high, mid and low. Now, if you want to have more texture into this, you can again play around with the order of this layer. And if I set this after the 
this cell pattern effect you can see that now we are getting more harsh sort of look and again you can fix that by simply lowering down the opacity something like that or you can play around with the blurriness as well like that but i think that placing it below the black solid all this cell pattern really makes this stand out now the best thing about this technique is that if you want to change the look or something then you can just simply drag whatever image you have like that and now if i press s and let's scale this up you can see that we are already able to see the results and now we can play around with the texture we can play around with the curves so if i copy this and paste it onto this image now you can play around with however you want you can have more texture like this and here you can see we are able to see some texture in the gradients as well so these look very amazing if you are going for a pixelated sort of look so this is how you can create this so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one